All right, one needle's available. I'm not sure if I was recording that, but this is what I have. It's a coil, but I've never done this before. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put, I'm going to try to solder this back together like that. I might just use this to watch later as study film. You know what I mean? Any ball players out there, you guys know how what it's like to study film. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put some solder in there, and I'm going to use my pinchers, and right at the opportune moment. I'm going to go pinch, pinch, and then and it's going to connect. Hopefully not just in my dreams. So we're going to flux, put a little flux. I'm going to add a little heat. Because normally when I do this, I would just do each ring individually. But if we can do them all like this, I can make a little shortcut. That's one of the things I like about jewelry is is uh, there's often like a more efficient way to do stuff. And there's a more efficient way to do stuff that you've been doing it inefficiently for a long time, and that's the only way you know. Don't I don't like when the solder sticks to my tweezers, and I don't like when my solder falls out of my tweezers like that one did. Okay, we might be getting there, guys. Here we go. I think we got it, guys. I think we got it. Quench it real quick. Take a look. Oh. These three bonded, but not that one. I have a tendency to skip steps when I'm recording. Um, sometimes I'm good about it, and sometimes I'm not. It depends on how excited I am about a piece. Sometimes I get really excited about a piece, and then I... Uh, let's not burn myself. Let's move this over here a little bit, because I can get a different angle. I get excited about a piece and um, I just move, man. I just start creating and making it happen. And then I'm like, oh, shoot. Okay, that's a lot of heat, guys. Anybody out there probably is looking at that. Like, turn it right down a little bit. Do you ever watch videos and you're like, I would do it a different way? Or like, oh, I know a better way. Right now you're kind of screwing up. I got to be honest, I don't really ever see that much, I guess, when I watch other people's videos because everybody's so good um, that they don't make mistakes. Or if they do, they probably don't record, let them let you see it. But I make a lot of mistakes and I'd like to share my mistakes because I think sharing your mistakes is helpful too. Or sometimes I'll watch my video and I'll be like, right there, you screwed up, dude. And then, then I'm like oblivious to it in the moment. But, you know, it's just like, okay, let's pay better attention next time and learn from it, you know? Okay, let's go like this. Kind of wish I had this third hand on this rotating block. I might be able to turn it a little bit. I, I kind of want to believe in that, friends. Let's try. Heck yeah, dudes. Heck yeah. It's all one right there. This can still be opened a little bit if I want to. But I want this to be a small ring. I'm actually making it for this bezel, which is pretty small. So I don't want it to be all wide. In fact, I might want it just like that. Ow, that right there is hot. All right, friends. I wanted to share with you guys. Check this out, man. It worked. Solder back there. Look how a little how I had to overlap the boom <laughs> so that um it would fit. And I'm gonna sit it on there just like that. One more thing, friends. I'm gonna about I'm about to solder this onto this uh and this is how I'm gonna do it. This is how I typically do it if I can. But uh in here I have the boom logo as you guys see know and uh what I learned is if you just get some pencil over the your what do you don't where you don't want the solder to go, it won't go there. And this is a technique that I learned from my instructor Melanie Klein, and I haven't used it in a while because I kind of forgot about it. And then I started thinking, I was like, well, wait, I know something. Hold on. And it was back there in the recesses of my memory, friends. But uh, 
I'm gonna do this and you guys will see the finished products and see how the solder did not go into the boom. So I just finished, uh, just finished soldering this and I looked at the camera and it was off and I was all being so philosophical and such. Of course, maybe my camera was like, you're an idiot. That's it right there, okay, boys and girls. Did I look straight, guys? It's not perfect. I think it could be moved like that a little bit though. I might move it, I might try. Quick video on how I remove the ring shank from the top of the ring. Um, I have the third hand claw right there in the middle. I have to use a little bit of a higher heat than I would normally use if I was trying to seal it. I got a great seal, but it's just not very, it's not straight. And it's important that this ring is straight. So I'm gonna take it off the plate, the where the ring, the bezel plate. Boom, just like that. That's how you take it off, friends, simple like that.